I'm Larry Gladney, Associate Dean for Natural Sciences in the School of Arts and Sciences at Penn, and also a professor in physics and astronomy. So some of the ways that being involved in the seminars have benefited me as a faculty member are, well, to start with, we are working with teachers as full-fledged partners. And so as a citizen of Philadelphia, uh, now a longtime resident, 30 years there, I'm very interested in what's happening in education um, in the surrounding areas, uh, West Philadelphia. And it's not that easy to keep up with what's actually going on on the ground. I mean, you read very dire stories in the newspapers. We understand the political situation is very charged. But in fact, the, hearing directly from teachers what the challenges are, I think is relatively important. There's also a professional aspect, which is that every time I'm in a seminar, whether I'm visiting or I'm actually leading one of them, it's the, it's, this, it's the case that I'm surrounded by people who are professional teachers. Uh, it's the only situation in which you regularly engage with people who actually know how to teach and can give you real feedback in terms not only of how you're doing it, but better ways in which they approach particular aspects of the challenges that come up with teaching. So that aspect of it is, I think, really interesting because uh, it, it's a, it's a, it's a co-generational dialogue is the way that teachers refer to it, but it really is based around the idea that everybody brings something to the table so that it's not only shared expertise, but it's the experiences of what's worked and what hasn't in particular uh, uh, groupings of students who have different issues that they bring into the classroom, who have different approaches in terms of uh, how they learn. And so it's, it's a real way in which we, we take the theory that we can read about or hear about in, in say, uh, occasional talks that happen in teaching and learning centers and really see how it applies to people who've been doing it, actually, in, in sometimes very challenging environments but sometimes very rich environments. Uh, so there are advantages that can take place in the high school that we wish we could have in a college classroom. And this is a great opportunity to ask, why not? So as a, as a professional, uh, in, in the sense of a faculty member who teaches and does research, that's, that's a pretty interesting and intriguing, intriguing aspect of being a, a part of the seminars. Well, the university certainly benefits by being a good partner with the school district. Um, as you probably know, and it's true for many universities, we get a lot of benefits from the city by virtue of the fact that we're a nonprofit, that we add to the educational um, uh, achievements of the, of the citizens. But that's not always considered enough by people uh, who are in the city. And in large measure, that's because it is an Ivy League school. And so not a huge number or a huge fraction of the students who actually graduate from high schools there wind up going to Penn. So consequently, it's important, I think, for Penn to, to show that there is grassroots interest. It's not simply something that's determined by administrators from the top as a way of, of saving face or, or having good relations with Harrisburg as well as City Hall. This is something that is generated as an activity that the faculty and the students who are in, uh, engaged in various aspects of this have to be, have to be wedded to. You, you couldn't order it from the president and provost, nor could you actually pay faculty enough to be able to spend time putting in the kinds of effort that goes into the seminars. So that is, I think, a, a relatively um, profound statement. And it's one that's important for the faculty themselves who are engaged in this to realize that they have something to give back. And there's a way in which we can do it, again, that's very structured, that it makes it possible for them to do without an open-ended commitment, that uh, I think is, is probably the single most important aspect of the partnership is that we have faculty who are willing to be in a classroom in which they're equal with the teacher uh, participants who are, who are engaged in the seminar because of their own interests, right? They're also coming off of work, having taught a full day, and then fighting traffic to get to the university in order to sit there and engage in, in dialogue with you. And that's just enormously personally gratifying, I think.